Okay, so since we are meeting for the first time, would you mind telling me something about yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Why not? First of all, uh, thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. I am Santanu Das. I am from West Bengal. By profession, I am working person. I work in a hospital as an attendant. And if I talk about my education qualification, I have completed my graduation in mathematics subject. And if I talk about my hobbies, I always like playing cricket and football. And uh, apart from I am running my one YouTube channel, whose name is English with SD. That's all about me. And sir, uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you very much for giving your nice introduction. Now I'm going to introduce myself. This is Sophie me. I am from West Bengal as well. And if I, when it comes to my educational qualification, actually, unfortunately, I couldn't come to my graduation because of some reasons. And these days, I'm doing a business. I'm a small businessman. Actually, I have an eye with a drugstore. And I have been doing a business for the last seven years. Apart from that, I'm a, a small YouTuber. Recently, I started my YouTube journey. And if I talk about my hobbies, my hobbies are helping the poor people, reading books, and speaking English to others. Yeah, that's all about me. It's my short introduction. Yes, yes, it is nice and just also, and it is good to know about yourself. And sir, uh, uh, you are from. Uh, yes, I am from West Bengal, Kujbe district, to be more exact. district. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You belong to Kujbe. And which district do you belong to? I, yes, I belong to Hooghly district. Hooghly district. Oh. Yes, yes. And sir, uh, how long have you been learning English? I mean, how long have you been speaking English? Yeah, I have been uh, learning English for a long time, but I started my English speaking journey very seriously only 10 months ago. Yes, sir. And what about you? Yes, uh, I have been learning English for a long time. I have been learning English uh, about uh, uh, one, uh, one year. Yeah, but I have been speaking English about six months. Okay, so I am asking you something like, uh, actually, how do you practice English? I mean, do you practice English alone or with someone else? Some with uh, someone else at your home during leisure time? Yes, yes. Actually, I have I have been I have been learning English for a long time. I have told before also, and I always learning English alone at my home. Yeah, I know I have never joined any coaching center. Yeah, and uh, whenever I get free time, I always watch the YouTube video in English content. Yeah. And uh, whenever I watch the YouTube video, that time also I can understand properly. There is no problem in my understanding. And uh, also that time also I was thinking I will be able to speak English fluently. But uh, when start speaking, that time also I get stuck. I have been facing this problem for a long time. And sir, I am asking one question. And uh, in which purpose are you learning English? What is the reason behind it? Oh, yeah, it's a really nice question. Actually, uh, to be honest, uh, I am learning English to uh, speak in English. Okay, actually, I want to be a friend to speak in English. I want to talk in English like native speaker. And uh, actually, I live in village. Okay, I live in in a uh, I live in in a rural area. Actually, and you know that uh, it's really very really difficult to learn English living in a rural area. And most of the people, most of the villagers, uh, and most of the people of my village are very weak in English. Even the students. Excluding students, college school students uh, who are living in a village, they are very weak in English. They cannot talk English properly. Even they have good knowledge about English grammar. Like they, uh, they know a lot of things about grammar. They have good knowledge about grammar, like tense, models, clues, conditional sentences, article, preposition, part of piece. They know all those things very well. Even they can translate very well. They can translate any kind of Bengali sentence into English. But the problem is that in spite of knowing all those things, they cannot talk it, talk in English properly. And that is what I want to overcome. I mean, uh, I want to serve my country through teaching spoken English. And for that, I must have to have good thinking to help the weak students. Yeah, and in future, if I get any chance, of course, I will uh, uh, I will help them so that they can let us face it. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. So you are right. Also, you are right. I also belong to village area. Yeah, I know. I know properly. Uh, there is no good environment for learning English. Yeah, no one speaks English in our locality. And uh, in our society, in our locality, also I observed that there are many 
many brilliant students they have got uh, 100 marks uh, 100 marks out of 100 in english yeah they can write properly they can speak properly there is no they can write it properly they can write properly but they cannot speak properly because uh, what is the reason behind, behind it because they do not practice regularly i know also properly without practicing we cannot success in our life and practice is the most important key for speaking yes you are absolutely right actually uh a lot of students they have knowledge about grammar they have uh, uh, they know a lot of vocabularies uh, even they can translate very well they can write english and they can read english very well but the problem is that when it comes to speaking they can't i don't know why it is happening with them and what's the reason behind it maybe they don't practice uh, don't practice regularly and uh, they and uh, there can be so many reasons like they don't have the in, uh, english speaking environment and they don't have anyone anyone they don't have any partner to practice english and that is why they are facing this kind of they are facing these problems yes yes definitely and sir uh, i am asking one question uh, what do you do in your spare time yeah actually in my spare time when i get free time during my leisure time i try to i try to utilize my free time by talking to someone through this application and uh, and i try to read some spoken english posts grammatical rules posts and i also try to follow so many youtubers like indian youtubers foreign youtubers bangladeshi youtubers so many youtubers i try to follow them actually uh, i uh, i follow them because actually uh, 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 you know actually how to pronounce the words how to talk in english i try to follow them and after following it i try to speak in a proper way Yes, yes, yes. And sir, your sound is good. You are also speaking very well. But how much time do you practice every single day? <laughs> yeah, every single day I try to practice at least one or two hours. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is I'm practicing okay. actually, and I'm very excited about it. And uh, I'm so I'm uh, I'm passionate about it, and that is so every single day. I try to practice at least one or two hours. And actually, this is I'm focusing on it, especially on the speaking part. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. So yes, if you have any more question, please ask me. Yes. Yes. I also I am asking one question. And uh, what do you think English grammar is important for speaking English? Grammar. Yeah. Actually, I am open asked. Uh, I am open asked this question because so many beginners, so many learners have asked me this question before, like grammar is uh, important or not? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, if I talk about grammar, actually there is uh, there is something difference between grammar is speaking like uh, uh, grammar is. Uh, I think grammar is a little bit uh, important, little bit uh, essential for learning English. Actually, if you if you are a beginner, if you are a learner, then uh, you should have some basic knowledge about grammar. Because if you have some basic knowledge about grammar, then it will help you to make a sentence in a proper way. And when you talk in English with any stranger with any co-learner and the chances is very less that you will make any mistake by talking in English with them. OK, but if you don't have a knowledge about grammar, if you don't know anything about grammar, in that case, you will make a lot of mistakes while speaking English. Yeah, and that is the yes, difference yes. between speaking and grammar. And one thing I want to share with you, like uh, actually, um, uh, in, uh, do, you, uh, do you believe that uh, do you believe that it's possible to talk in English without having any knowledge? So uh, without uh, without having any knowledge about grammar, do you believe that? No, no, no. I also I also agree with you. I I know properly also. Uh, grammar is important for speaking English in my point of view because uh, actually I am start, I am learning English because there is a, uh, there is another reason. Actually, when I was starting in my school life, when I was studying in class eight and nine and that time that time my English was not good. And at that time also, I could not write one sentence in English properly. That time also, I I, I was always scared of the English subject. Yeah, uh, that's why also I did. That's why uh, in this time also, whenever I get free time, I always try to learn English. I have told before also, I have been learning English for a long time. I have been learning English for one year. But first of all, I have cleared the grammatical rules. Yeah, and uh, after that also, after after six months also, I start my speaking speaking English. Yeah, uh, in my point of view, point of view also, English grammar is important. But uh, basic basic English grammar is important, yeah. Yes. And if you if, you, right, if, you, yeah. if you want to speak English, 
if you want to speak english that you may that may you have you should have knowledge in basic english grammar yeah yes yes and and one thing actually it is possible to talk in english without uh, having any knowledge on grammar actually it will be possible it will be only possible if the people always talk in english that means you need to have environment actually if yes, you yes. have the environment yes, yes. speaking english to others in that case it is possible to talk in english without learning grammar okay but if you don't have the environment that means you know that uh, actually uh, in our country india there are so many languages uh, actually india is a diverse country and every state has their own native language and the people always talk naturally speak their own native language and our native language is bengali so we naturally speak in bengali okay and yes, english yes, yes. english is, is not our mother tongue it's our maybe second or third language right but yes, english yes, is yes, yes. Uh, no doubt english is very necessary but english is is not our mother tongue right and that is why we don't get, we don't get any friend any partner to practice english with uh, even there is no environment so first of all we need to have some basic knowledge about grammar so what do you yes, think yes. about it yes 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 uh, yes you are right you are right also basic basic english grammar is important for speaking english and sir uh, i am asking another question did you join any any coaching center did you join any institute for before for your speaking english yeah actually i had joined i had joined a coaching center a long long years ago maybe 8 and 9 years ago uh, but uh, but actually i couldn't complete uh, a spoken english course okay um, because uh, actually I, i have taken some classes but after completing some classes uh, i thought that uh, it will not be possible to talk in english by me because uh, actually Mm, the the environment is not enough good okay and that is the reason yes yes but now and sir i uh, i also know yes go ahead go ahead and sir i know also if you speak english mainly and another is important vocabulary vocabulary is important how did you improve your vocabulary skill uh vocabulary yes yeah you you are absolutely correct actually vocabulary is very important for knowing english and first of all uh, you have to have a fast stock of vocabulary over overall knowledge in grammar and habit of expressing everything in english so every single day uh, every every single learner every single beginner uh, need to memorize at least new new five words every single day at least new three or five words okay They memorize, and after memorizing it, when they talk in English with any stranger, they should utilize those learned new words in their conversation, in their discussion, and this is how this is how it will be possible to improve, to enhance, to develop their vocabulary as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes. And sir, I guess you know you know to speak English clearly, to speak English clearly, always you have to follow four rules: L, S, R, W, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. four things are very important for speaking english but what do you think what is the most important part for speaking english uh, uh from my point of view i think uh, from my point of view uh, first of all actually if you are a beginner if you are a learner then first of all you need to focus on speaking is speaking and listening both okay uh, actually speaking comes from speaking okay so first of all you need to focus on speaking because if you don't start speaking until you start speaking you will never ever be able to talk english properly so first of all you need to focus on speaking yeah i know that going to speak in english you will make a lot of mistakes but it doesn't matter because i'm uh, making mistake is not a big deal it's very normal because every single actually i think everyone makes mistake while speaking in english right so first of all we need to focus on speaking and listening listening is the most important part of uh, uh, actually what do you think, uh, what do you think about it um, you know uh, i remember our old days when i uh, actually remember our old days when we are uh, when we were children how did i how did we learn how did we learn our mother tongue we have learned our mother tongue just uh, listening to uh, just uh, just by listening to our parents and surrounding environment right so listening is very important for learning english 
So yes, yes, uh, yes, I yes, think yes. We, we have to make a habit. We have to make a, a habit to read something, to listen to something. And for that, we can listen to uh, native speakers. We can listen to uh, board cards at least half an hour every single day. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, also, yes. I agree with you 100%. Listening and speaking is the most important part for speaking English. Right now, also, we are talking to each other. You are so uh, you are speaking. After that, also, I have to listen properly. And, uh, and after that, also, I have to understand properly. And finally, also, I am speaking. And listening and speaking is the most important part for uh, speaking English, in my point of view, also. Yeah? Yeah. And, sir, uh, and what is your hobby? What, do, what is your goal? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, my hobby, yeah, I have already told you that my hobbies are helping the poor people, reading books and spoken English to others. And if I talk about my goal, uh, actually, my short term goal is to be a successful YouTuber. And that is why I started my YouTube journey only some months ago. Uh, but uh, actually, but my YouTube channel is just not growing, actually not growing up as much as I as I want, but uh, I'm not uh, thinking about it. And if I talk about my goal, my goal is uh, to be uh, a fluent speaker in English. Actually, I want to, uh, actually I want to talk in English like a native speaker, and that is why this case I'm focusing on it. Yeah. <laughs> and sir, you have a YouTube channel also. You have, been, but how long have you been running your YouTube channel? Yeah, actually, I have been doing my. Uh, I have been uh, YouTubing. I have been doing YouTube. Uh, I have been uh, YouTubing, or I have been running my YouTube channel for about uh, for about uh, yeah five five months. Five months. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. And Sarah, when when you started your English speaking journey, at that time also, what kind of rules did you follow? Rules. Uh, rules meals, uh, actually, when I started my English speaking journey, uh, actually, uh, to be honest, uh, I started my English speaking journey when I was in class six for my 12 years old, but before I was not very serious because of because of not having any kind of partner to practice English with me. OK, even I didn't get any chance to practice with any educated people. That is why I, I was not very serious people, but and I started my English journey very seriously only 10 months ago, and I have already told you some minutes ago. And when I started my YouTube journey, uh, I used to um, I used to practice a lot. Uh, I used to uh, I used to read grammatical rules for grammatical rules like tense, models, clause, conditional sentences, article preposition. Okay, um, actually I have good knowledge about from. Uh, uh, because I used to I used to read grammatical rules and regulations and spoken English books as well. Yeah, so I have done all these things. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, do you watch do you watch the YouTube video in English? Yeah, yeah, I was. Yes, yes. Sometimes I also follow some YouTubers. I also watch conversational videos on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what kind of channel do you follow? Uh, J Forest English. Have you heard about this channel, J Forest English? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, English with Lucy. Lucy, yeah, yeah. And Elena, Elena Life Rice. Elena Rice, yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay. Yes, so. there also. OK, so yeah. thank you very much for giving me very much time. It was uh, really nice uh, talking with you. And we yeah, actually yeah. we have completed more than 15 minutes, so I have to leave now. And yes, yes. Uh, OK, right. so thanks. All right, nice to meet you. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye.